There's another concern at the Nebraska legislature which goes beyond partisanship. KETV Newswatch 7's Andrew Ozaki sheds light on a potentially dangerous problem. So I don't know who's in charge of lighting. And yet another grievance bugging lawmakers during this contentious legislative session. Lighting. Go down to Menards or Home Depot or Lowe's and buy some LED lights and put the bulbs in here so we can see. Senator Steve Erdman took to the mic recently to complain about how dark the chamber, hallways and stairs are in the Capitol. This is LED times. Turn the light on. But rather than divide, Urban's passion found a common glow. Sometimes I have trouble seeing. I think we should have LED lights. This is ridiculous. Let's get LED lights. I join in his call. It's no pun intended. A light bulb went off in my head, too. Senator Jane Raybould says she almost fell in the stairways. It, it gets really, really dim and dark in this building. We check with the state patrol, who says Capitol Security has had 21 medical emergencies in the past year. Nine have been in the staircases. It's unclear how many were due to falls. I mean, just yesterday I tripped up the stairs. Acting Capitol Administrator Brett Dottery says the lights have been switched to LED in the chamber and hallways, but wiring limits how bright they can get. Erdman isn't convinced. We need to fix the lighting. And if you go down the end of this hallway right here, there's one bulb down there that's way brighter than the rest. So don't tell me you can't change them. Over the past two weeks, lawmakers have worked well into the evening several times, testing the lights and their patients. And if you can't see, it's hard to read. It's hard to do things. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.